hi guys welcome back to a new video if you're new to my channel you're very welcome my name is busola i'm a final year medical student living in nigeria i make videos about medical school and lifestyle if you've not subscribed please hit that subscribe button right now check out all my other videos i'm sure you will love them so in today's video like the title says i'm going to be showing you guys how i study in medical school i'm going to give you a step-by-step -step of what i do and how i study in medical school if you're interested in seeing what that looks like please keep on watching first thing i do when i want to study is to sit at my desk i sometimes study in bed but it's always a bad idea you guys it's always a bad idea so most of the time when i want to fully focus i sit at my desk so that's where i am right now i'm at my desk i have my laptop with me my ipad my notes my textbooks my colored pens um a bottle of water and a snack so um with all of that i'm good to go and i know that i'm not going to leave this desk until i'm done with the round i'm studying for so the technique i used to study i started using this technique a few months ago and it is so good you guys the technique i use is the ponder technique and i recently started using this technique i think a few months ago and i have absolutely absolutely been loving it the idea is that it helps you focus more by um deliberately focusing like fully focusing for a few minutes at a time and then having short breaks in between so traditionally you are supposed to fully focus for 25 minutes and then you have five minutes break in between every 25 minutes and after you've done that four times you take a longer break like 10 30 one hour break and then you come back again so the idea behind that is that in the time that you're focusing it's not it's not stretched out it's not too long so you don't really get to lose focus and then after that time then you break for five minutes or whatever time you've chosen for yourself but traditionally it's 25 minutes um focus time and then five minutes break in between so what i do is that i downloaded this app it's called forest it is not free actually and i'm not sure if it is available on android i'm going to find out and let you know here if it's available on android but i downloaded it on um, my ios store my apple store for i think 700 naira so it's actually it was very cheap and this is what the icon looks like and what i pretty much do is that i um as you can see it's already set what i do is that i set 35 minutes so instead of the 25 minutes that was recommended i do 35 minutes and then i then a five minutes break afterwards so then i start the timer here and what it does is that it helps you focus because when you start the timer you start growing your tree so it grows a tree and it, it keeps growing while the time is going by and it fully grows when the time is up so after this 35 minutes i would have one full tree the way it helps you focus is that while this timer is on while it is on while this app is on if you leave this app say you got a message and you attempted to check the message or you remember that there's something on instagram you wanted to see and you've not checked or your mind just wanders and you want to check something on your phone if you leave this app your tree dies so um your tree actually withers and it shows on your stats that your tree withered so um let me just show you a week that i've done so pretty much this is what it looks like you can see all the trees here that i've planted and then you can see that a tree with that here actually i have sorry i have a tree that we did here so that's pretty much what how it works and it works really well i have been enjoying it you guys this video was not sponsored as you already know or as you can tell i just really love the app because um it's sort of like a game because you have your forest and then you have your trees and 
yeah so it's like you are playing a game but also you are also being productive so i absolutely love it and that thing you can do is that you can plant with friends so i have been planting a lot with my best friend roller care so we pretty much just start a timer we link our accounts together and then we start a timer so if one person should lose focus and leave the app then both are trees with her so that's how that works and yeah so when i want to start i just start that and then i go to my laptop and start a video so i have like a lot of videos you guys a lot of lecture videos on different topics so i just go browsing for videos of whatever topic i want to read um for that day for example today i'm reading nephrology so i'm going to open nephrology and um, let me show you guys so this is this is nephrology i have like some internal medicine videos this is nephrology and this is kaplan these are kaplan videos you guys so um say i want to start at acute renal failure what i do is that because there's no i don't have i time. am conrad fisher i'm the associate Sorry, chief of medicine for so because i don't have that kind of time i um do i speed it up so i speed it up and i let it play two times faster actually so yeah um to Sydney Dan State School of Medicine in Brooklyn and Kings County Hospital, largest municipal hospital in the city of New York. Welcome so, to Nephrology. Now, nephrology, in terms of its page content, is a smaller section in ID of cardiology. The difficulty of nephrology lies in the fact that there are several equations along the line that usually kill 50% of the crowd who's watching them. I always, always, always watch videos first. Especially for topics that I feel like I don't really understand that well, I watch videos first and it just helps me a lot better. I don't straight off just go to my textbook. And then start reading my textbook it's all really it will be really slow so after i have watched this video everything just becomes clearer easier to understand then i go to my printed class materials let me show you guys that um i pretty much print out all my class materials into like a big chunk of just like <laughs> um textbook this is actually just one half of my um materials for internal medicine i have another one just like this while i'm watching my videos if there are things that really stand out to me and whatnot i jot them in this printed copy of my class materials so i jot them here and then i now go proper into reading my class materials and i read that with my textbooks as well so mostly i focus on my class materials but if i feel like i need more information about whatever then i go to my textbook and i read so um most of the time i actually read multiple textbooks at the same time so there are some topics that i feel like oh um aki is you know a bit better in davidson than it is in kuma and clark then i read davidson instead of kuma and clark and then if i think that endocrinology is like better in kuma and clark than davidson then i read that in kuma and clark so it just depends on what i think is you know best for me i don't like to read the same topic in like two three four textbooks i feel like it's a waste of time it just really wastes my time and there is a lot to be read so i just read one topic like whichever one i scan through and then i pick the textbook i want to read and then i just read that and then the next step that i do is that i make notes so i actually make notes but this step is actually very optional for me and it depends on a lot of things it depends on if i have time most of the time if school is in session i probably don't have time to be honest <laughs> because the bulk of the things that we have to know within a short time is a lot so um i can't really be jotting down everything i can't be making notes and be creating like a comprehensive note i already have a class note so i don't um create my own notes most of the time but if i have time i've been creating notes so also um if the topic is really hard to understand if it's a topic that i'm just not getting I would be more inclined to creating a note for that topic just so that it will sink in more and i will get used to it more so that's pretty much what i do honestly the last thing that i do 
or i actually used to do it and then i stopped after a while is that i make flashcards so i especially in preclinicals i did this a lot in preclinicals i would use these sticky notes and make flashcards whatever i've read if i feel like um there are like key points that i need to remember that i need to know i would just like put the questions here and put the answer at the back and then i make a lot of those so when i'm revising for exams or like when i'm waiting for the exam if like i'm outside the exam hall or whatever and i'm waiting for the exam to start i just pretty much start answering the questions on the flashcard i actually stopped doing this <laughs> i stopped doing this because it took a lot of my time but i would recommend it to you if you are not the kind that likes to um, do a lot of past questions so i pretty much substituted um past questions for um sticky notes actually so i started doing a lot more past questions and less flashcards i felt like that was better for my school i don't know how it works in your school but i feel like just doing past questions is a better way to spend your time than doing um flashcards actually so that's what i started doing i started doing past questions instead of doing flashcards but whichever one works for you is fine honestly so yeah that is it guys like pretty straightforward right <laughs> that is pretty much what i do to study that's how i study i've had people ask me this question a couple of times so i just i was just like you know what let's do this video so yeah guys we've come to the end of this video that is pretty much how i study if your study technique is different please let me know in the comment section if you have any helpful tips for people for us generally let's know in the comment section as well please share this video with your family and friends post it on your instagram stories and tag me thank you very much for watching don't forget to be kind to yourself and be kind to others i'll see you in my next one bye